Mm mm mm. Look at this food. You want it, right? Well, you can't have it unless you pay a visit to Joe K's Deli Restaurant in the small town of Vernon, California. But lately, owner Steve Mullen has been struggling to draw in customers from the rest of LA County. People are not aware of us anymore. So we need something new. We need we need exposure. The problem could be that the last piece of press they got was from an unknown news journal published over a decade ago. So I decided to pay Steve a visit with a plan to change that. I do watch that program on TV with, um, was it Dine and Drive, was it? With, oh, with Diners, the... Dive Ins, and yeah, Drives. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good show. Well, you know this isn't that show, right? Yeah, I know it's not. OK, yeah. yeah. That's Guy Fieri. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have okay. to contact them, no? I... How to get on diners, drive-ins, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, just... I don't know how to get on that show. No. Well, you, you came through, so let's see. You know, I'll be very happy to work with you to get this thing promoted. OK. Yeah. One thing I've noticed that always gets restaurants press coverage is when a celebrity leaves a big tip. So if we were to get an impersonator to pose as a celebrity and leave a $10,000 tip at Joe K's Deli, the real celebrity would never deny it was them because it makes them look so good. And Joe K's would instantly become the talk of the town. Okay. Yeah. Steve was excited about my plan to get him some new press. But to pull off the illusion of a major star leaving a giant tip, I would need a celebrity impersonator who was completely convincing. So I held an open audition to see if anyone had the goods. Do not go in there. Woo! Yikes! Well, all righty then. So are you a Jim Carrey impersonator or an Ace Ventura impersonator? I guess uh, I'm more focused towards Ace, um, but I'm a little bit of Jim Carrey overall. With all the talent that came in, it was hard to decide who would be best for this critical role. If you live like that, blood runs cold. So once the auditions were done, I brought the footage to Joe Kays to see who Steve liked the most. No longer there. He doesn't look like Bill Gates. When I found it, Microsoft, I don't think this guy will work. Steve turned out to be a pretty tough audience. Can you feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And of the dozens of options I showed him, he seemed to really only connect with one. Jerry, Jerry, I'm pleading with you. I, I like you this guy. On this it's a Kramer from Seinfeld? Kramer. Yes. The guy was a dead ringer for Michael Richards, who played Kramer on Seinfeld. I was a little concerned about his relevance. Do you think he might be a little bit dated? Maybe, but a lot of people know. But Steve loved him, so we officially decided that Michael Richards would be the celebrity leaving the tip. And later that week, I had our impersonator meet me at a rehearsal space I rented so we could run through the plan. Is this something you do full time or? I, well, I was, for a while, I was doing it a lot. I was doing a lot. And then when Michael, when Michael Richards, when he had his little problem, like after the comedy store, right, right. my persona was for a little while corporately non gratis. Right. I know Michael Richards is a great guy. I know he's not racist. I began by asking Ostro to walk me through how he would leave a large tip at a restaurant as Michael Richards to be sure his performance was realistic. And whenever you're ready. It was clear right away we had some work to do. I think it might be a little bit too big. Remember, people need to believe you're Michael Richards, not Kramer. Got it, okay. okay. 